par five uphill into the wind and it started raining. To be honest, that's kind of where I was aiming. <laughs> Stupid, isn't it? Like, why would I aim into trees? But it's in two and off the left. I've hit quite a few shots out right. And right is completely dead. So I've sort of, yeah, tried to play it a bit safe. And instead I've hit it into the trees. But I'm hoping it hasn't reached the real bother. So I sort of thought it was gonna be all right. I mean, it's not good, but it's not in there, the green miles up there somewhere really all i can do is just chip it up there i don't be going for gaps like that if you're thinking that seemed like quite a big hit for 80 yards it's because i did what every golfer does worked out how far it would be sensible to hit it and then i stood over it and thought yeah but i could get another 30 yards up there so that's what i did and luckily it panned out the flag looks so far away about to find out how far it is but <laughs> it looks like it's still a par five away and I've already hit two shots. It's like it must be 30 mile an hour wind. It's only 182, it looks miles away. It's gonna play so much longer than that. I feel very confident about this. It was one of those shots like in such a big wind, I didn't feel very good about it. I thought it could literally just go 50 yards either way. Yeah, I've got hardly any green to work with, so I'm gonna try and just bump it into the bank, but I hardly ever do this kind of thing, so probably not a good idea. Oh, completely carried the bank, ripped it onto the green. <laughs> oh. If I'm honest, I think I was nervous about the duff. So I've just given it a bit more, carried it onto the front of the green, so it's gone like way past. This is a lovely hole, I seem to remember. Just get up on the tee box and we'll have a look. Dog leg left, greens up around there. It's just like, well, obviously like most holes, the fairway is a good place to go. Yeah, perfect. I didn't catch it brilliantly. I've started to think of it a bit differently because, oh, I don't want to go on a deep rant here, but I realized looking back on some of my old videos that, and my mates used to always pick me up on this. Oh, my tiger's about to fall off. I was never, well, hardly ever satisfied with a shot. So like that shot, for example, I wouldn't have been satisfied with that before because it didn't come out the middle. So therefore it's probably like 20 yards shorter than it could have been if I hit it perfectly. You know, it didn't feel as good. I'm like, well, what happened there? But, if you were watching this like at an event or whatever hopefully you're never watching me play golf at an event i'll see money back if that happens but what i mean is like on tv or whatever they'd just be like yeah that's a great shot it's a high draw it's literally on the center stripe of the fairway so the fact that it wasn't quite flush like only i really know that you know good shots are hard to hit if you hit the absolute middle of a fairway should be probably pretty happy with that. Oh, it's got to draw a lot from there. That's a huge push. Pin eye. See what I mean about these greens? I don't think the camera does it justice, but there's so much like undulation and stuff, and they're massive. You should build a house on these greens. Oh, blade. Absolutely bladed it straight across the green. Ah, oh, ah, oh, God. I mean, that. Oh. This is not going well.
next to the green, I've walked off with a seven. There's a couple of guys coming down the hole. And then I was basically, this is my last hole of this night and they'll be going in afterwards, I think. I just thought, oh, I'll just, you know, get a move on. I won't have to worry about any like awkwardness. Oh. Anyway, that's only an excuse. Still hit seven shots, so I made seven. Hit thumbs up if you've ever made a painful triple from beside the green in two. The other reason I was rushing is that my battery's flashing red. I don't want to have to stop, change that now. Again, because I've got two guys right behind me. But let's hope it doesn't cut out. Come on, battery, do one more hole. When you're trying to rush because you don't want to hold people up what isn't a good idea is to hit one shot 40 yards left hit provisional and hit that 40 yards right so they are a long way apart those two balls to be honest i think the first one should be okay That's rubbish, completely forgot it was into the wind. I'm like on the very front of the green, the pin's right at the back, on a completely different tier. Oh mate, all of the bits really, haven't I? Just goes to show like, I started rushing, concentration's gone a bit. Now look at me. What was there? Like there, quality golf vlogging. That's so awful up to this massive crazy tier i've not even got it on the right tier so it's rolled straight back to me i don't know what i'm doing i've got like a lot of golf for six right gotta calm it all down a bit i don't know why i'm rushing so much there's no need so from now if there's someone like coming up behind me i'm just gonna let them go because that was not worth it absolute shocker i've always been like that though is anybody else like i was not just talking about filming but in golf like one of my biggest fears is kind of holding people up all right so i've just had a count up and obviously things aren't looking very pretty but it's a new nine I'm gonna take it much calmer just those last few holes just let it get absolutely out of whack Found it. It's in a not good spot. Green's miles away down there. This is a chip out all day, unfortunately. Oh, sit down. Yeah, it just turned over and it's gone straight, scuttling across the fairway. Into the long grass. That wasn't just a bad shot, that was stupid. I didn't need to try and get it that far, just like anywhere out. And I've only had, I would have only had a shortest shot in. Now like, I'm in real trouble. That's horrendous. Lucky. Lucky it hit that tree. What happened? Oh dear. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not in control of this at all. I haven't been like this in the um, other three times I've played. Like I've hit some, you know, ropey shots in those rounds, but not anything like this. Fourth shot. I'm just making like one bad decision after another. So I had 85 yards, which is the absolute limit carry distance for my lob wedge. And it was like nestled down in really thick grass. So obviously I'm not gonna get like all of it. But yeah, I still hit the lob wedge thinking it was gonna like bounce on the fairway. But it's a front, oh, that wind. But like it's a front pin. So 85 yards really, you know, could be thinking about 90 yards. And like, the um, fringe is lush, so it's not gonna bounce. So I'm just making life really hard for myself. Is 
I've almost lost count of how many shots I've had. Five, I think, but I'll have to count up. I don't know if that was a worse triple than the one I made on the front nine, or better, because I kind of felt like I got more value for money out of it, like I actually hit a lot of shots. Whereas the other one I was like down by the green in two, <clears throat> down by the green in two, but which triple was best wasn't really a question I was hoping to be asking myself today. Nice little par three. solid but I couldn't see it in the slightest. I'll hit another one. I don't feel like I know my swing well enough to know whether that was left or right or straight but I can see it to degree. Yeah that'd be annoying if I don't find the first one because like I felt like I hit it pretty well. Just couldn't see it into the sun but I guess you could argue on a par three like if you don't find it around the green even if you haven't got a clue where to look then it obviously wasn't a very good shot obviously I was watching the green and I didn't see anything so it could be anywhere is that it there she is wow so it was a long way right side it's not a triple which it probably would have been if I hadn't found that first ball we really need to regroup here because things are getting out of hand fast so my first round back I shot 12 over second round um, we only played about 12 or 13 holes because we started at like half six at night <clears throat> so it got dark but yeah I was only like four or five over and then earlier this week um, I didn't finish a couple of holes because we were playing like a friendly match and I lost balls but I probably would have been like 12 to 14 over maybe I don't know um, but anyway my point is I'm already about 13 over after 11 holes here so that's a lot worse isn't it I think one of the problems with my game has always been like when things go wrong I don't feel like I've got a sort of solid like little I don't know half swing or whatever that I can just go back to and like get it round without a disaster like I feel like I've got no clue what to do. I'm just hoping to hit a good one. It's the hope that kills you. Well, that was almost a good one, but it's gone over towards that bunker. I knew golf was hard, but I'm making it look really hard. I was thinking at the end of that par three, the last hole, that it's a miracle I've not lost this ball yet, bearing in mind some of the places I've put it. Right now, it honestly feels like I'm doing everything I can to lose it. Like I'm just hitting it 40, 50 yards offline both ways. Until I'm struggling, because I'm finding it quite hard to find places where I can put the camera where you're going to see me hit it and see potentially like the hole. Not that the hole's in much danger at the moment, but yeah, like my shots into the green, I'm still miles off. Silly, I can't seem to concentrate. Oh, come on, brain, be better. If I don't feel good hitting the driver, even if I should hit a driver, I'm not gonna hit a driver. I say it could be worse, I'm having a nightmare. I've left myself 90 yards on the shot. Got a lot of practice today. Can't believe this. Oh no, I don't want to give up though. Everyone else has gone home, but we fight to the end. Oh no, I think the dream is over. Genuinely feel quite sad. I'm just gonna walk the rest of the hole in silence. Wouldn't feel right to put another ball down. <laughs> 